What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Lotha Lee, and I'm here with another reaction video. We is about to react to a guy by the name of Duty. I hope I'm pronounced Duty, do I? <laughs> but I believe it's Duty. Oh, we finna react to his video. It's called Carol Boo was removed from Concrete Boys. I hope I said her name correctly, but, um, uh, yeah, I know Concrete Boys. Um, yeah, they group, but I think the girl, they say it was removed. So, let's see what's been going on with this group. Uh, has she separated from the group and start doing her own thing? I don't know. We finna see. But, y'all, like, comment, and subscribe. He finna give us the tea. And, hey, let's go on hit that 13K. We is on the road. We is on the move. Thank you guys for 12K. But, let's go and get straight into this video. Let's see what's going on with the Concrete Boys group, man. Let's get it. Let's Go. I think we should all know who Concrete is, okay? Yeah. It's a label slash group that's owned by Lil Yachty. And I think you got about four or five artists that's a part of the group. If we not including Gio, she's not a rapper, but then you got Carol. Yeah, yeah, Gio. I mean, she's still a part of the group, right? Because she was at Lil Yachty. I mean, Kai Stream. I feel like she's a part of the group because she stayed with the group. But she's more of the stylist, the 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 drip. She put it on in a group. BC2 Trail, Draft Day, I'll and I put believe it on, though, but And it may be a couple more I'm missing, but I'm not too deep in with Concrete, but that's what I know. And for the past year, Concrete have developed their own thing. If it ain't Opium or Cactus Jack, that's really the only group that's being talked about right now. Because from the outside looking in, I feel like they developed a decent group, you know? It seemed like when they mm -hmm. all together, it's like a family. Right. Anytime you see them together, they cracking jokes. Everything is vibey. They making decent music. The last album I heard from them, that was decent. And with the whole style thing that they got going on where right. everybody rocking baggy clothes they got like the the um 2000 style with the baggy clothes with the look what, what brand he got eco brain uh brand <laughs> like yeah they style dope i like got it. that vintage swag to them i like where they're taking things you feel me and i even feel like yadi did a good job by introducing them to us and throughout mm -hmm. this year i think things been looking good for them i mean they dropped the whole tape together but for some reason these past like two weeks have been weird just straight weird because i feel like i noticed a disconnection when it came to concrete the same way they used to be together and go out to these events and stuff like that or even just go on kai stream and stuff you know how they used to be all together and, and if you seen one person you're yeah. gonna see the whole group but see lately, everybody. it ain't been looking that way and after yesterday it's kind of been confirmed that somebody has that's like you and your best friend it's like you see one you gonna see the other you feel me when you go alone when you go to an event without your best friend everybody asks hey where where are your best friend where your best friend where your best friend <laughs> it's like because when y'all go out Y'all never um, separated. Y'all always out together. But once they catch you not with your best friend, it's like, dang, what happened to your best friend? Where your best friend? Y'all still talk. Y'all still talk. What's going on? It's, it's like, hey, that, sometimes you don't got to be around your best friend. You feel me? Every day, 24-7. You don't got to go to every event with your best friend. But, like, that's how it is, though. That's how it is. But they probably still, you feel me? They probably, you know, doing their separate things. But then they probably don't want to be around each other, like, stuck up each other butts like that. Like when A&P be going out, Agent, I see Agent stream, Agent in Brooklyn by himself. Ain't no other A&P members around. They, what, what Kai at? What Ray at? What Duke at? Like, <laughs> I don't know has been disconnected i don't know man because something don't seem right i mean i've been seeing caribou make tweets here and there or she would probably like retweet something kind of signifying that something is wrong you feel me y'all should already know this geo and caribou they've been close for a long time so it's just like when i don't be seeing them together it's kind of weird you know what i'm saying ain't nothing wrong with taking a break from each other but and the yeah. one person i've kind of noticed that hasn't been involved lately is caribou and yesterday that was oh, kind of confirmed because i seen something where concrete boys they was performing at this whole fest she and they had now? the whole night collab going on and the whole time everybody was asking you know where's caribou so we're gonna go through these videos so i can show mm. y'all what's going on because i'm confused a little myself but and as y'all can see everybody is there they got the whole suits on and everything but the only person that ain't there even gino there and that's gino right there 
caribou and one of the comments that stood out the most that i've seen right it say for those wondering where caribou is she has been suspected of leaving slash removed from the group after unfollowing yachty and being removed from the concrete boys instagram bio and as i Dang. scroll down even more you had people asking yo where is caribou where is caribou you got people even asking why she was kicked and all types of stuff because it's just like there were so many things happening before this that was a little iffy like i just wasn't seeing them together like i said right and then today we seen this with this whole performance and then i went to to the ig right and i don't think they're lying about this whole thing because as i go to the concrete boys page but if you look very closely right oh, she ain't up Day, camo, and DC. lil yada jeff day camo dc2 trip dang her name ain't up there. Trail, but you don't see Caribou. And you go to the following. They only following four people. It's the same people. Caribou now on here though. Everybody from the group kind of doing this thing where they've been ignoring the whole situation. So it's kind of mm. weird, but let's check out Caribou page. And I'm scrolling through Caribou page, right? As you can see, she's Who's not she with, with Concrete. And it's a little weird because Caribou started doing this thing. She was reposting other people asking, you know, where's Caribou? And they were at the concert. Caribou, where you at? <laughs> it was literally people showing up to the concert asking where Caribou Where you at, girl? Everybody looking for you. Shaking my head. She showed a message. Somebody said, girl, where are you? She probably yeah, trying to know with this that she upset or something. You know, she's going through a lot. And it's obvious, too. Because to not show up to the biggest event she's that's going tired on of people for y'all right now. Why? Why wouldn't you show up? Your fans is there. And not only that, we all know that Caribou is kind of like, if it ain't Lil Yachty, she still she's got concrete in her bio, I, concrete KB. She still only that, we all know that Caribou is kind of like, if it ain't Lil Yachty, she's kind of the face of Concrete Boys. And I went to her following, y'all. Lil Yachty actually doesn't pop up either. It's confirmed that something is definitely going on. Like I said, Gio and Caribou is very close and I have not been seeing them together. So it's kind of weird. And nobody has spoken mm. about it either. So it's just making it even more weird. Yeah. And who knows what it could have been. It could have been just a big argument or whatever. And things are completely fine. It's what just Caribou that Caribou at, didn't show up for that. But when you remove somebody from the whole label page, that's crazy, all right? Like, something ain't right. Something is definitely going on behind scenes. And this might be something they definitely don't want to just leave in the dust. Like, they have to say something. Yeah, they got to say something. It some. may be a lot of y'all that don't like some. Caribou or something. Y'all don't feel like she could rap for real. But she does have fans. And we can't act like at the end of 2023, her run wasn't crazy. She was really just dropping back-to-back -back songs that people really enjoy and at this point you can only think that yeah she either removed herself from the group or she was removed and the stuff that caribou been posting lately yeah she's definitely going through something like i actually went on twitter to see what's going on and see what people talking about caribou first thing i see caribou not concrete no more the next person happy that she didn't even purchase a ticket because caribou wasn't even there somebody said where was you at yesterday and like i told y'all caribou been like retweeting weird things like she's going through something you know what i'm saying and it might not mean nothing but she was talking about deleting the app and then she made this tweet yesterday mm. she said existing two out of ten would not recommend and somebody oh dang i hope she good i hope she okay yo she going through some we in this together bookie living 10 out of 10 sending you an email bro you rich and famous and you still feel like this see people with that type of comment is like dumb a jiggy jackson it do not matter if you're rich or famous. That do not exclude her for being human and having emotions and feelings. <laughs> rich and famous do not make you, you feel me? I mean, it can make people happy, but that's, you, still go, you still can go through things. So I hate when people say, oh, you rich, you famous. Why you feel, why you feel like that? You shouldn't be able to feel like that because you rich and you famous. Rich and famous people is human too. Rich and famous people have suicidal thoughts too. So. <laughs> even replied Please. said bro how you rich and still feel like this and then this was a couple days ago caribou had reposted something that say that one friendship breakup that changed your perspective on humanity and then mm. even on the 22nd she it said something like it don't matter, what, don't I'm matter what i'm going through joke. i'm gonna still make a joke then she reposted something even two weeks ago she said for l means even on bad terms and if we go all the way back to july 5th she said i really irritate myself when i let people who not even thinking about me and don't give a f 
about me hurt my feelings so y'all go ahead and let me know how y'all feel about this whole scenario i'm hoping whatever it mm -hmm. is they can come to a conclusion where caribou can still be in concrete i'm not sure what it was that happened but but i love y'all so much make sure y'all follow my i don't know what's going on man let's see what these comments talk about they saying this marketing her project is called where is caribou she finna drop an album called where's caribou oh okay well if that in case if this a whole marketing thing home market marketing rollout <laughs> Then this is album rollout and mother freakers are falling for it. Well, hey, if this album rollout stuff and this like just a plan and a rollout and a thing to just leave caribou hidden and have people wondering where she at and she got an album coming out called Where's Caribou and they pop out with the album and then concrete pop out widow supporting the album and all that yeah that'd be that'd be tough roll out tough roll out because yeah they got everybody talking but yo like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think and i will catch you guys in the next video to the peace